You want to see something really crazy? This is what the companies had. They had access to this. As a matter of fact, they, they, some of the companies had this in their own file cabinets. But this is what, this was created by the CDC. It's called a death map. And what it does is it follows the number of people that are dying in the United States from opioid overdoses. And by 2016, this is what it looks like. How could, could we ever dream that corporate America would unleash this monster? They know that if it can't be absorbed legitimately, it goes out to be used illegally. The Oxy Express, you know, they're driving through the city, they're picking up the excess glut of pills, and then they're moving up the eastern seaboard. The story hasn't been told in a way that connects the dots. That the person on the street, for example, who was that person? If you start connecting all the dots from the street all the way up to the top of the food chain, you start understanding there's a very clear design. The parts to this lawsuit really begins with the Sackler family who owned the company Purdue. The Sackler family created this myth, and the myth is that our opium is different from the opium that's been around for 2,000 years that has completely devastated entire, <laughs> entire civilizations. Then it was up to the distributors, which everybody seems to miss. The distributors were really the linchpin in all this. When you look back and you hear these stories and you, and, and, and you, if they don't make you angry, if you can't hear the story of a mom or a dad or a as I look at this, the, the ending is the angst that we should all have about the failures of the system. We, we shouldn't go to bed at night thinking all is well.